everybody. Let's just uh, settle down into our meditation posture. And just bring your mind and try and land. You know, we've all had various things going on today, whether you've been at work or things going on at home. Preparing for events tomorrow. So just bring your mind to the here and the now. Just bring your mind where your body is, sitting on your chair or your cushion, feet flat on the floor if you're sitting um, with your legs down. If your legs are crossed, you can put little cushions underneath your knees, your coccyx, make sure the sacrum is upright not kind of tilting backwards or forwards. Hands in the meditation mudra. And imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base of the spine, the coccyx, all the way up through the crown of your head. And just even as we're talking about that, just imagine your spine lengthening. Shoulders are over the hips, the head slightly tipped forward. Eyes are down, looking along the length of the nose. And those ears can be in line with the shoulders. Tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth, relax the jaw. And bring your attention to the crown of the head and just relax the scalp, the forehead and the eyes and the cheeks and the nose, and your jaw the area around your mouth and bring your attention to the back of your head, the scalp, relax the scalp and then just feel, just notice your face relaxing, which parts of your face are relaxing, what, what is extra tight. Relax your ears and your temples and inside your ears. Relax the back of the neck and the shoulders and the back. And just remind, reminding everyone to, to try not to lean into the back of the chair or the couch or whatever it is you're sitting in, unless you're injured or not feeling very well. And bring your mind to your throat, just relax the throat and the chest and the belly. Shoulders, arms, hands, fingers, legs and feet and toes. And bring the mind to the breath, just very gently breathing in. Notice the sensation of the cool air as you're breathing in, slightly warmer air as you're breathing out. Bring the mind to the breath. If there's any sounds in your environment, just allow them to be there. Try not to have your mind run off and investigate. And if there's anything in your mind that sort of is left over residue from today, conversations, events, try not to follow a story or make up a story or even have an opinion. Just allow those thoughts to arise to abide and to fall. And just bring the people in your life to your mind, the ones you love, the ones who support you, take it, are taking care of you or helping you, the ones who love you, the ones that you don't like so much, who aren't necessarily supporting you, don't really care what happens to you. And the ones who are strangers to you in your mind. Keep in mind, as I was saying this morning, that at any time, any one of these categories of people can change places in your life. The one that you don't like might end up being the one you love, and vice versa. Also bear in mind, you know, they're constantly searching for happiness. They're all equal in this wish to be happy, 
wish to be free from suffering in this incredible potential that we all have. So I just think we're doing a meditation tonight, a Vajrasattva purification meditation for the benefit of all the people in our life and for all sentient beings so we can free ourselves from delusions as we make our way towards enlightenment for the benefit of others. So just to remind ourselves there is no negativity that cannot be purified. So we're just counteracting the negativity in our mind with something positive. And the thing that is really beautiful about knowing that everything in the mind is impermanent is that it can be changed and we can eradicate these negative tendencies that we have. So the first of the four opponent powers is this power of regret. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, and in all past lives perhaps. And think perhaps of specific actions of your body or your speech. And maybe think, did something happen today? The reason that we're regretting is based on karma. So we experience everything due to our karma, our past actions. And so having harmed others, we will necessarily experience harm in the future. We cannot bear the thought of future suffering. So what do we want to do? We therefore logically want to remove the karmic seeds before they ripening ripen as suffering for us and so think I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech having broken my vows because I do not want this future suffering I'm sick of suffering and also regret the anger the attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and again think I'm sick of this suffering so who can I turn to and this is where we come to the power of reliance and the first little section is about refuge. So we rely on, we turn to Buddha, Vajrasattva, who we see him as a doctor who has the methods we can use to purify. And it's not that we need the Buddha to forgive us. We're purifying ourselves by relying upon his methods. So visualize Guru Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. And you can imagine this is the mind of your guru, the mind of your teacher, your lama, your trusted mentor, however you see them. Manifesting in this form, this male Vajrasattva form, for your benefit. He is made of a radiant, blissful white light, sitting cross legged on a white lotus. He has this beautiful, radiant face and very, very youthful. He has his long lotus-like eyes and they're very peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all the people in your life, for all sentient beings. He has no judgment in his mind for you. He just wants to help. And he's meeting you exactly where you are at this moment. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right, the left holding a bell which represents the wisdom. The right is holding a Vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion and their being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened by this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva. May I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So the next little section is compassion. And in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings, the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them. So first of all, think of somebody that you've harmed recently and try and develop some compassion for them, for their situation. And then think of someone who's harmed you. And rather than feeling angry at them and wishing them more harm, feel compassion for them because the harm that they've caused you is going to necessarily 
ripen as suffering for them in the future. So make a strong aspiration. We do this practice of purification for the sake of all these beings. So I must purify for their sake. So the next is the power of the remedy. This is the actual medicine. Guru Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar coming very forcefully from his heart chakra. And it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And just imagine it keeps pouring into you and filling uh, your whole body until eventually it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky black liquid it pours out of you disappears into space not one atom left as we recite the mantra om vajrasava samaya manupalaya vajrasava dina patita dina mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa anarakta mebawa sawasiri mepiyata sawakama sutta me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sapokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mepi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Om <laughs> Umpe. <laughs> Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dina Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mepiyata Sawakama Sutame Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tatagata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dina Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha ha ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva ah hum pe hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita Dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sutta me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is completely purified and think there is no way you could do anything but be a benefit to others now with your body. <clears throat> Next is a purification of the speech. And imagine now Guru Vajrasattva very happily sending and a powerful nectar again from his heart chakra and it arcs around and enters into you forcefully quite strongly through the crown of your head filling your entire body except this time forcing up to the top of your body um, and forcing out of the top of the body all the negativities of your speech and it just overflows and disappears into space not one atom left and so imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and the lying, talking badly about others behind their backs. All this is purified by the powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Nida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mempiyata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sava Ah Hum Pei 
Sawa <laughs> Duda me bawa soto kaya me bawa sopo kaya me bawa anarakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe ambhaja sapha samaya manupalai ha vajra sapha dina patita Duda me bawa soto kaya me bawa sopo kaya me bawa anarakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriam Karuhum ha ha ho bhagavan sava tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bhava maha samaya sattva a hum pe omadra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita nira me bhava sutta kaya me bhava sapa kaya me bhava anarakta me bhava sava siddhi me be yata sava kama sitta me sitam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bhagavan sava tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bhava maha samaya sattva a hum Pay. <laughs> Dira me bawa sutta kaya me bawa sapo kaya me bawa anarakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sutta me sidam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine that it's not possible to do anything other than be a benefit to others now with your speech. So the next is a purification of the mind. And imagine Guru Vajrasattva again, very compassionately sending this time powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this kind of arcs around and enters your crown chakra, filling your entire being. So you can just imagine, this is the analogy from Lama Yeshi, from the teachings, this is the ancient script, so I use this one. Not ancient, sorry. <laughs> Recent, anyway. The minute you walk into a room and flick on a light switch, the instant you do that, you know you notice that the darkness is dispelled. It's replaced by light. So in the same way, as soon as the light from Guru Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind is instantly dispelled all the attachment, the neediness, the anxiety, the depression, the anger, and resentment and jealousy and grudges, bitterness, all these kinds of things instantly dispelled, not one atom left as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimbi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sidam Shriam Guru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dina Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Kaya me bawa, anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me biyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gada vajrama me muza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Om bhajra sava samaya manupalaya vajra sava dina patita, dira me bawa, sutta kaya me bawa, sutta kaya me bawa, 
Naracta Mibola Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sidam Shiam Kuru Hum Ho Bagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Musa Vajra Bawa Ma Samaya Sadva Ah Um Pe Umbadu Zafa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Zafa Dina Patita Duda Mibola Sutta Kaya Mibola Sufa Kaya Mibola Naracta Mibola Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sidam Shiam Kuru Hum Ho Bagawan Sawa tata gata vajra mame musa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Vajra sapa samaya manu palaya vajra sapa dina patita. Duda me bawa suto kaya me bawa suto kaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa sawa sidi me pe yata sawa kama suta me. Sutam shiyam karu hum ha ha ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajra mame musa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Um Vajra Sava Zamaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sava Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sudam Shriyam Karu Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Musa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Um Vajra Sava Zamaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sava Dina Patita Duda me bawa, suto kaya me bawa, supa kaya me bawa, anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me pe yata sawa kama suta me, sidam shiyam karu hum ha ha ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which is the source of your own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are totally purified and gone and there's no space now in your heart for anything other than love and compassion and wisdom and kindness. So next is a purification of the negativities, imprints of negativity in our mind. So imagine uh, Guru Vajrasapha this time is sending light and nectar. And if you'd like to visualize <clears throat> the previous three mantras, uh, sorry, the pr previous three visualizations simultaneously or one after the other. You could imagine, you know, visualization for body for two mantras, for speech for two and mind for three, however you wish, or just do nectar and light. And imagine, and however you're doing it, it fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind as you recite the mantra. Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mebhi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Karu Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sittam Shriyam Karu Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutta Kaya Mebawa Sutta Kaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sittam Shriyam Karu Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Me Bawa Sutta Kaya Me Bawa Supa Kaya Me Bawa Anarakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sudam Shriyam Guru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dura me bawa, suto kaya me bawa, supo kaya me bawa, anarakta me bawa, sawa siddhi me be yatsa sawa kama sutta me, sidam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Vajra sapa samaya manu palaya vajra sapa dina patita, dura me bawa, suto kaya me bawa, supo kaya me bawa, Anarakta me bawa, sawa siddhi me be yata sawa kama sutta me, sidam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pei.
Now feel that you're completely purified, not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been purified. <clears throat> Next is the power of resolve. And this is the fourth step in the process. It's a really crucial one. We kind of make a decision to with, you know, withhold harm, refrain from harming. It's like we just flick on a switch, just decide. <clears throat> and without this kind of determination, we are going to keep doing the same things over and over again until they become habits that we don't even know we're doing and we don't even notice until someone pulls us up. So think of um, something that may have occurred over the last week or even today that maybe you regret. And perhaps this is a habit that you would like to stop doing. <clears throat> and perhaps think to yourself, okay, so maybe I will not do this for a day, for five minutes, for 30 seconds, whatever it is you can imagine yourself being successful at achieving. So don't set an unrealistic goal that you can't achieve because you'll just feel, um, then you'll start feeling bad. So the point is to give us achievable goals and pat ourselves on the back and then keep moving forward and just expand those goals till eventually we're not doing that thing anymore. And I think even zeroing in on something is goes a long way towards kind of becoming much more aware of how we're affecting people with our body and our speech and how we affect ourselves with our mind. So this determination to not do again is what gives us the courage to change. So imagine Guru Vajra Safra is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind. He melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and you think, my Guru's body, speech and mind, Vajra Safra's body, speech and mind and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. Lama Yeshi used to call this union oneness. And now Lama Zaparimbashe recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma and there is no negative karma created. So place your mind in that emptiness for a little while. And in this way, you're looking at all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own side. You can think of things as being dependent on arising, so that they, this has to arise in order for this to happen. Or you can think that maybe due to our own physical structure, we view the world in a certain way. And that perhaps, just perhaps, things don't exist the way we think they do. So let's just dedicate the merit. All the positive energy we've created this evening by doing this purification together to all living beings, thinking may all the virtuous karma have created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. So for long life proof is holiness, the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world to the incomparably kind and Zingyatsu I beseech May all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Zaparimpeshe, you who uphold the subdues moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplishes magnificent prayers, honoring the three jewels, excuse me, savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. For Lama Ursul, Venerable One, to you whose kindness succeeds out of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, Mindful of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request. O Lama, please, please live long. And for Geshe Shara, beloved teacher, leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful weekend. Well, thank and I you. rejoice. Thank you so much. <laughs> All the best. Good luck tomorrow. <laughs>